Hey, it's Arrow. Hey, this is Defrag. Asking the questions and then questioning those answers. I defrag vocally while taking a long walk through a forest in beautiful South Charlotte, North Carolina. I call this walk a transition walk. It's every day because I know that mentally and spiritually we all go through transitions. We just don't take the time to really listen to them, to understand them, to build upon them. And that's what defragging is. You get to break it down. You get to ask the questions and then question the answers. This is defrag. I'm a defrag journalist as well as a vocalist. The journal really has nothing to do with what we do on this podcast. This is in the forest. This is your mind, body, and soul are actively involved with the environment. Like right now, I'm staring at this gorgeous, gorgeous lake. It's winter time. We have no snow on the ground, but it's only 47 degrees out here. There are no leaves on the trees. But I look at this lake every single day, and I see the wildlife that's all around it. Those things speak to me spiritually. Those things are th- are little seeds, basically, that I plant inside my soul so that I can carry them throughout my day when I don't have the beauty of this forest with me. I just want to make sure that it never leaves me. Now, it may leave my sight, but it's not going to leave me. Today, I would like the defrag subject to be on when you're not in the mood to defrag, when you don't think you've got what it takes to defrag, when there are things standing in the way of asking those questions and then questioning those answers. One of the things that blocks you is the content that you continuously place inside your mind, body, and soul. And what I mean by the content, it's like you're on the web, or maybe you're, you could be going through the same situation that I am, which is, you know, new age equipment for the recording studio, not talking with the stuff that I've had for a while. So it's disappointing to a creative mind. And so the subject of wanting to defrag is like, no, no, I'm not in the mood for this. Okay, let's defrag that. Let's see how we can work with the modern day equipment, with a modern day of thinking in the way of going, okay, I understand you've got, you've got a situation here that is controlling your, your interest in podcasting, but it can't be in total control of your mindset. Your mindset is always locked on growing forward. Many people don't understand that term, growing forward. You mean going forward, right? No, we're growing. We're constantly growing forward. That was an idea that came to me while I was in martial arts, and it was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do, is that I'm not going to go forward toward my third degree black belt. I'm going to grow toward it so that I can figure out how to understand the walk and the way of a martial artist. It's not about kicking. It's not about punching. It is physically and mentally a way of life. So, what does this have to do with defense? Defragging. Defragging is getting into the mind, body, and soul, like that of meditation. It's getting deep inside the core of your system, where you're running into a day where it seems like every time you turn around, something is stopping you from doing what it is that you normally do. You can't deny it, nor can I, but when it really comes down to it, we are so lenient on when we don't want to do something. It's like, okay... I'm fine with that. You're not in the mood to defrag today. Okay, we'll get it a different day. When you know for a fact that your daily discipline is to get inside the veins of that living soul and to listen to it, to ask the questions and then question the answers. And you're not going to get anything fixed if you just say, okay, you're not in the mood today. Well, you don't have to be in the mood to be a creative person. It is what you do naturally. It is what you're doing even when you're not in the mood because now you've created a way to stay out of the mood and basically give yourself way too much baby loving. You know, we always let the kids, they fall and it's like, oh, oh my God, they fell. You know what? They fell. Kids fall. It was like when my grandson learned to ride his bike. About 10 minutes afterwards, he crashed it. I looked at him and said, welcome to riding your bike. He really didn't understand what I was saying. It's like when you drive your car, if you have not wrecked yet, okay, congratulations, you're one of the lucky ones. But somewhere along the line, you're either going to get hit or you're going to hit somebody, and then you have to deal with that as well. So as I walk through this very busy forest today, in the distance you can hear that there's some sort of construction taking place, but I'm not going to let that get in the way and become an excuse of my defrag. Sure, you want me to turn it off? I can't. The reason why is because today, that is the subject. Why don't you want to defrag? What is your reasoning for wanting to tune out and not listen to what is going on? And now that that is probably a tough goal right there. How is it that you can physically listen to yourself? 
You mean those voices in your head and heart? You know, the ones that keep you awake at night? The ones that you've always labeled? Man, these are big, mean, nasty monsters. Well, what happens is, is that they're not. They're awarenesses. It is part of your shape shifting that you do each day. And what you have to do is you have to learn to work with them by understanding, okay, this is the reason why I got into this mindset. But if I know of a way to peacefully work my way through a blockage, then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop giving myself permission to quit. It's not about quitting. It's about growing forward. Physically say that and say, say, say it this way. I'm going to go forward or I'm going to grow forward. Okay, so you're not in the mood to write today. You're not in the mood to go in the kitchen and do the dishes, to take out the trash. You got some procrastination going on. I get it. It's all natural. But when it comes to getting the job done and understanding where your place is in this moment of now, sitting around, binge watching TV, or messing around on YouTube looking up for song videos and documentaries, where's the benefit in that? You're not getting that time back. So the question again, right back to the very beginning, the reset, the subject today is defragging. Why aren't you in the mood to defrag? I let digital technology kick my butt. I let my failure of understanding modern day digital technology to kick my butt. I'm down on myself. I've watched the videos. I think that if I watch the professionals, I too can become a professional. No, I had to make an agreement with myself. On your next day off, you're gonna make a trip to Sam Ash or the Guitar Center, and you're gonna find out what's going on. You've gotta create the plan and then the execution. The execution is what helps keep the mind growing. And by the way, if you ever come to my town and you walk up Heartbreak Hill with me sometime, you man, you got, you got to bring an extra set of lungs. This is one of the nastiest, biggest hills I've been on in a forest. And we just call it Heartbreak Hill because it's mission every day, no excuses, to kick anybody's ass if you're walking or running. Yeah, be Heartbreak Hill. Always be present. Let people know who you are in the presence of your now. I'm Arrow, and that's Deep Brain.